Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make your first GUI application using tkinter and in the upcoming videos I will be showing you the more advanced features of tkinter and by the end of this series you will be able to create your own project using tkinter that is a GUI application. Yeah. So let's get started and the first thing what you have to do is uh, import the tkinter library so for that from tkinter import stack what this does is it uh, it brings all the modules from the tkinter library into your project so you can use it without having to call the function every time that is like tkinter dot like that and you can directly call the function and next what we have to do is to create a window under which uh, the application will be running so for that root equals to tk and we have to create a loop which is called as a root dot main loop and all the code which is between these two lines is what is going to be executed until the user clicks this exit button what this root dot main loop does is that it uh, keeps the window active until the user force quits of the out of the application that is by clicking the exit button or creating your own exit button and pressing that button and so first now uh, we have created our first application and let's see what happens if we run this and you can see that this is a window which we have created till now and it has nothing because uh, we didn't specify any functions inside this and this tk and this icon is a tk favorite icon so it will be automatically there in your uh, application whenever you create it and if you want you can change it i'll be showing it later and when we click this exit button this root or main loop breaks and it comes out of the loop so the program quits so first uh, if you want to create any label inside this uh, window the function is that uh, you have to create a variable which in our case we'll take it as label1 equals to uh, label in tkinter most of the function starts with the first letter is capital so make sure uh, you have that as uh, caps1 and in tkinter it is like a two step process that is first you have to create the widget and then you have to place it inside the uh, window which is currently running so first we have to create the label here and where we want this label to be placed that is currently it is running in the root window so we want to create a place that uh, label in the root so the first parameter is to be uh, root which is where the label is going to be placed and next what we have to do is to specify what text we want for that label suppose uh, we have it as hello world and it is hello world and and we can just pack it inside the root variable that is it finds the first empty spot and it places this uh, label over there in the first empty spot that is label one dot pack and if we run this program we can see that our hello world inside here is placed and you might have noticed this previous window had a, had a, had the window a little bit larger and now this thing is a bit shorter it is because we didn't specify the geometry of this application which is going to be there throughout the program in case if you want to set the geometry for the win, uh, application the we can do it like this root dot geometry of what dimensions you want we have it as 500 x 300 and if you want to set title for the uh, application you can do it by root dot title and her title will be first application yeah so you can see if you run this now okay it's geometry r by we run this now you can see our uh, geometry is 500 into 300 and our title is changed to first app 
suppose if you want to get any input from the user in that case what we have to do is we have to create an entry field like uh, entry one equals to it's entry and we have to place this entry inside the running window that is root so root and uh, what is the width we need for that entry field so width for now we'll take it as 10 and we just pack it inside the uh, window if we run this you can see a uh, entry window is created here so the user can type anything he wants and we have created this entry field but we didn't specify uh, even if the user is typing something, we didn't specify where this type text should be stored. So for that, what we have to do is to create a string variable, which is called as uh, value equals to string where. So whenever a user types something inside the entry field, that text is stored under the value variable. So we have to specify this as text variable equals to value. So whenever the user types something inside the text vari uh, entry field, it is stored under this text variable, which is called as the value, and it is stored as a string. And next, what we'll see is to create a button. So creating a button button equals to button of where we want to place it inside the root variable so root and what text the button should contain text equals to uh, I will just me and we'll again place the button inside the window using place path method button one dot back okay so if we run this we can see that a button is created but even if we click the button nothing is happening because we didn't specify what function it should do when we click this button so for that another comma function is called uh, inside the button function what is command equals to what it should do when this button is pressed so we have this as display and now we have to create a function which is called as display so def display will print button click so what i did here is I have created a command which is called as a display which is a function and that function it does is that uh, what it does is that it uh, prints the statement called as button click so whenever the button is clicked this command is executed okay. we run this you can see here over that uh, button is clicked so whenever i click this button it will print that button is clicked so we can in this way we can use this command to do whatever action when we press button so suppose we'll say i want to i want to enter my name here and if i click this button i want my name to be printed here so in that case what we have to do is uh, first we have to create uh, another another uh, variable that is another label called as label2 equals to label of root and text initially we'll place it as a empty string because the user didn't enter any name still and later on if the user enters any text and clicks the enter button we can configure this labels text and We'll place it inside the to the back. Okay, so the user now entered some text and clicked the button. So now the 
uh, execution is taking place inside this button. And what we have to do is display the text which is entered inside the entry field uh, below the, uh, which is entered inside the entry field to be displayed below the uh, uh, button. So first we have to get uh, the text which is entered inside the entry box. So for that, what we have to do is name equals to whatever is entered in the stored in the value variable. So value dot get. This is how we get uh, whatever value which is stored inside a variable. And next, what we have to do is uh, change this text to hello or welcome that name. So variable two dot configure and we have to change the text. So text equals to uh, welcome and let's do string formatting here and name. Yeah, so when we execute this, it should work. So I'm printing Sanjit and click me. So it prints welcome Sanjit. And if I change as one, two, three, four, five, it prints welcome one, two, three, four, five. So that is how it's a basic work of a button it does. And I'm going to break this video right here. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how to make label more uh, large or if you want to have the background color in and um, buttons background color active foreground, active background. In the next videos, I'll be doing this.